We've been looking at live streaming from mobile for a very long time on this channel, and it has been a while since we've covered Streamlabs mobile and even talked about Prism Live and some of the other apps that you can use on your mobile device. But YouTube have been making a lot of changes behind the scenes when it comes to requirements for mobile live streaming versus just live streaming in general. And this is one where there's a bit of a, a mishmash of changes to both mobile live streaming and just live streaming in general, which we're gonna clarify uh, for some people today. Now, if you look at the screen here, we've got a comment from, our, unfortunately it is in what I believe is Japanese or something, the channel name, so I can't shout out the channel name, but it says, I'm late, but tell me how to fix error 403. And if you know anything about Streamlabs Mobile, that's the one that talks about user is not enabled for live streams. In other words, your channel is not, that does not have live stream enabled, basically is what it means. So we're gonna look at how you can do that. It's really easy. There's two steps. One of the steps you've probably already done, and then it's to verify your channel by phone. If you've started a channel and you've had it going for a while, but just haven't live streamed, it's probably the case that you've done that part already. What you gotta do is basically enable live streaming. And it's not an enable live stream button, but what you're gonna do is a couple of steps. We're gonna get prepared to talk about what those steps are. I'm gonna jump on over to one of my other ch smaller channels, which I haven't live streamed from before. I've jumped over to one of my smaller channels. This one has 31 subscribers currently, my Creator Tech Reviews channel. But if you are on your dashboard here in studio, you can see up in the top left, we've got two options up here. One's your upload button and one's your go live button. Now, if I click go live, I'm gonna get this magical thing. Now, what I have just done by simply doing that is enabled live streaming on my channel. The message there says only 23 hours, 59 minutes and 43 seconds as of now until you can stream. So basically by accessing the live stream tools, I have just triggered the enabling of live streaming on this channel. Once this 23 hours and 59 minutes is over, I'll be able to live stream in certain circumstances from my channel. The other step is, if you're on a mobile device, you need to have at least 50 subscribers. So in the case of my particular channel here, I've got 31 subscribers. So can I stream from a mobile device with less than 39 subscribers, 31 subscribers, or less than 50, I should say, because that's the, the requirement. Now, obviously I have to wait 23 hours and 59 minutes to check on this channel. But I have another channel, which I have enabled uh, previously to this, it's one I prepared earlier. Here we go. We're gonna jump on over to my short slash mobile channel. Now, if I do the same thing, go click go live, I should be ready to go live. Okay, this one is prepared. Now that I've prepared this one earlier, this one is ready to go. So this is good. So now I'm gonna need it to jump to my phone because we wanna find out, can I live stream from a third party app if I'm under 50 subscribers, because if I'm on the YouTube app on my phone, I cannot live stream from the YouTube app until I'm more than 50 subscribers, because that's the current rules, which we can look at here. Creating a live stream on mobile. Let's look at iPhone, iPad, because this is an iPhone. The requirements to live stream on mobile, you will need at least 50 subscribers, and no live streaming restrictions within the last 90 days. They have the, the channel verified, which is done. And I have enabled live streaming, which I did uh, a couple of days ago. So now it's working on this stream. Now this is for the mobile app. So what happens if we're using a third party mobile app? Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, Streamlabs. Now I'm gonna go and check what channel I have set up in the settings. So I'm gonna click the hamburger menu and go to account settings. And I've got this link to create a tech reviews, which is not the right one. So I'm gonna to need to uh, quickly uh, re-log re that. So give me a second. I think this is the right channel. It's just coming up as Doug Use of YT instead of Doug Use of YT Mobile. Um, so let's uh, jump out of that. Let's just see what happens when we go live. We'll check in a couple of different apps. This is Streamlabs, of course. I'm gonna go live. Uh, I need to tell it I wanna go platform, YouTube. I'm making it unlisted test stream. That sounds good, go live. And it looks like we're going live. Now you can see here that I am actually live right now. So let me even flip my camera. So you can see I am going live right now, test stream unlisted to my uh, live streaming 
uh, to my Doki Some YT mobile channel. So that is there. You can see that on the uh, the window screen there. That this is live. So we have learnt today that you can live stream from a third party mobile app with under 50 subscribers. This channel has like 28, 29 subscribers. You can live stream from a third party because the third party is seen as an encoder rather than as the YouTube app itself. So even though you're streaming from an app, it lets you stream with less than 50 subscribers because you're using what's called an encoder, which would be like using OBS or using StreamYard or using Ecamm or any of those other pieces of software. So there we go. Let's end that stream first of all. If you're under 50 subscribers, you can use a third party app still to, to stream. You just have to make sure that you, that error 403 that you get on Streamlabs or in some other apps is because you haven't enabled live streaming on the particular channel. You need to plan ahead and do that 24 hours at least before you stream. So that is the key takeaway on this video today is make sure that you've enabled live streaming on your new or newish channel. Even if you are below the mobile live streaming threshold of 50 subscribers, it doesn't matter if you're using a third party app because it is considered an encoder. And yes, I've covered plenty of these sorts of videos before. So if you want to check out some of the classic Streamlabs content, we're going to um, put it right here. This is Doug and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech or content creation.